Hey, it's Udi. Let's have a look at Loop Cloud's Loop Editor. And in the previous video about Loop Cloud, I showed you how to search for samples and loops and whatever. And that was cool. But now I'm going to show you something real fun. So let's just pick whatever random kind of uh, um, sample pack for us to play with and um, get started from there. So I'm going to take, let's just, I, I, I don't even know all these guys. So uh, yeah, let's take this one. Let's see what's going on here. So we have lots of um, lots of samples here, some of them free. So if you click the free stuff, then it's free for you. I can just click this and download them to my library and we can actually listen. Yeah, cool. So um, let's stop that. And what I want to do is I want to give you a quick tool right now. So what we have here is, uh, and I'll clear all the tracks here. We have all these tracks, eight tracks, and we can load different samples to these tracks. Once we have the samples in these tracks, we can uh, apply some patterns on them. And this is pretty cool as itself. Other than that, we can edit those uh, samples, trim them and reverse them and do a lot of things, even transpose them and create some melodic uh, patterns. So I'll show you all that. Um, let's uh, let's get started by just, you know, selecting kick, uh, searching for loops here. I'll just take the first one. There you go. Let's listen. Okay, and now I can load another sample to track two and let's get a snare and we can we can do something. Um, for example, I can take this one and it will be playing at the same time of the previous one. So I'll show you what you need to do in order to, to get it in place. So we have a lot of uh, options here. Let's just play that. So it's not really what we want. So I, I can just move this around. And as you can see, I have a grid here. And this grid is, uh, is um, zoomable. So I can just click the magnifying glass here and zoom in, zoom out. And I can move this sample around. And I can also move this uh, play um, loop here. So I, I, I can move that and say, okay, um, I want two bars, so I can put this sample here. And I can uh, also copy this, um, this sample and use just uh, the copy and paste or control D to, um, to duplicate. And there you go. So that's one option. Let's play. Okay, but that's simple. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to uh, to the basics. I'm gonna clear this this one, and I'm gonna take another snare. Let's hear that, and it's loading. Yeah, and the the other way to do it is to go to patterns. So I'll go to patterns, and there are a lot of pre. Uh, pre-made patterns here and I can select whatever and you can experiment but for now let's just go with you know with, with whatever makes sense and for me that snares and claps and we can can do something like this I don't know traps so let, let's see I don't like this one so I can change it I can select something else And again. Cool. Next, I can I can go and say, okay, let's have some uh, some other stuff here. For example, let's have um, some symbols or percussions, and let's listen to this. And I I can just play. And I can load more stuff here. I can take a bass. And 
and what I can do is again I can I, I can take these patterns and just apply them on my sample whatever for example this one and let's let's listen but I can also do something else so let me try and find something maybe melodic or uh, um, let's see what we have here some kind of effects maybe yeah let's take the melodic <laughs> Yeah, I'll go with that. So um, what we'll do is um, I'll show you a few things that we uh, we can do to this um, to this sample. First of all, as I said, I, we can as I said we can move it around and we can place it wherever. And what I can also do is I can change the the size here, and I can use these to um, um, to just fade in, fade out. And other than that, w what I can do is I can um, I can again do some kind of copying and pasting all over the place here. And as you as you, as you can see, we're snapping to grid. So right now the grid is uh, is set to auto. I can select something else, for example, one sixteenths or thirty twos. And I can move it around, or I can uh, I can click the the shift key and move it freely. So that's also very useful. But um, what what I can also do is I I can change the um, I can change the the volume here. So I can do something like this. Let's listen. <laughs> So that's that's all fine. Of course, uh, we're just uh, jamming here, and few other things we can do. We can also um, trim. So I can take the trim tool and just cut things wherever. For example, here, maybe here. I don't know here, and I can uh, go back to my pointing tool here and remove something if I don't like it and I can again apply some fading wherever but I can also do some pretty cool stuff with um, transposing like the pitch tool I can take the pitch tool and I can move these semitones up and down so that, that's the idea here and other things what we can do that, that we can do is uh, is of course again we can we can save this we can go to uh, um, to the menu here and sa save the whole session we can go to the patterns here we can uh, save this pattern for later and what I also can do and this is pretty cool I can take I, I can just select another sample for example I'll take this one <laughs> So you can see that we we uh, we have a lot of creative tools here. We have a lot of things that we can do uh, without breaking the the patterns that we we already uh, created, and and then you know, just audition different samples. This is pretty pretty cool. And on top of this, there are a few things that you you can also do. You can add some effects, and what we can do is we can click here the effects editor 
and right now it's empty and we can add some effects so we have a, a lot of effects here we have delays for example let's add some delays um let's see delay chatter no idea what that is <laughs> Right, and I can add more and more um, effects to my chain here. Uh, for example, uh, let's uh, let's take a filter, sweep, sweep down. And I can go on and on. I can uh, I can take some, for example, this one. And as you can see, we have more tools here on the left, like changing the the BPMs, changing the pitch, and 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 some other stuff. But you get the idea. So th this is it. That's the the loop editor in a very quick overview. And what we can do is we can take this uh, whatever patterns we we just created and drag it into our uh, our session, our DAW, whatever, Ableton, or in my case, it's Cubase, but you need to purchase the samples. So as, as said, you can use the free one or you can use this with your own uh, samples. I mean, I can go to my library here and get my own samples and that will work. And, and then um, you can drag whatever you did here back to your uh, session. So let me buy these six files and this is what I'm doing now. So I can demonstrate how this works and now I can download everything. And what I can do is I can just drag this to, uh, to Cubase. So let me try and do this as we speak. Yeah, it doesn't drag like this. So what we'll do is we'll do it like this. And I'll just drag everything to my uh, DAW here. And clicking OK. And there you go. Let's listen to this. So that's, that's the basic idea here. And let's go back to Loop Cloud. Yeah, and, uh, and that's that it. That is it pretty much. So uh, in the next uh, video, I'll show you some, uh, some very cool instruments or very cool plugins that you can use in your DAW, in your DAW uh, coming from Loop Cloud. That, that will be the Loop Cloud drum and play that will allow you to play sequences uh, of, you know, drum sequences or, uh, or other uh, samples. And for example, I can go here. Let's just listen to this. And we'll see that the, some of the new sample packs will have uh, specific uh, specific sets of uh, sounds and, and patterns for you, uh, especially for drum and play. So I'll see you in the next video in this series. And that is it for now. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and other videos that I do, please subscribe and leave comments. If you, uh, if you have any question, I'll try and do, I mean, I'll do my best to answer. So uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.